Hey guys! In this video we'll cover another few objectives for the ML200 exam and namely how we can add or remove tables, table rows and columns, configure table style options and insert and configure total rows. Before we start I encourage you to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any new training content and now let's begin. So we'll do this objective first. And for that, let's firstly convert this table perhaps into cell range, make the formatting normal, also like that. And now let's make only this a table. So we go to the insert tab, table, my table has headers, click OK. And now our task is to add this column and these rows into this table. In order to do that, we click into the table and click on the table design context tab, resize table. Now we select all of the cells that we want and click OK. Perfect. And if we want to add or remove columns that, let's say, we don't have data for, we simply right mouse click here, for example, click insert, and there are already options like table columns to the left and to the right. So let's insert one to the right. Perfect. And we could also insert a table row above here. Table table rows above. Perfect. Now the next objective is to discover those table style options. So let's look at them. We have the header row, which we can disable. We have banded rows and instead of banded rows, we can choose to have banded columns like that. But in most cases, banded rows are more useful. We can highlight the first column with bold font, the last column with bold font, and here is the filter button, and we can disable it, but let's leave it on. And the last objective is to add and configure the total row. So in order to add total row, which will be placed beneath our table, we click here, total row, and it is an added row that supports some, let's say, mathematical and other functions. So here, for example, we can add the sum of all our, uh, of all our totals, let's say. So we can use the sum function. Here are some unit costs. So for example, we could insert the average cost. Also, here are our, I don't know, representatives or customers. It is a sample data from this side. So here we could, for example, insert the count that counts all of the rows that have some text in it. And yeah, so yeah, guys, that is all for this video. We have covered these three objectives. I hope you find it useful. If so, smash that like button and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.